This episode is called Over the Top. I want to introduce you to a guy who really is over the top and everything he does, whether it's collecting cars, whether it's having the greatest car barn I've ever seen, or whether it's food or restaurants. He was one of my favorite guests on The Tonight Show. I think you're going to enjoy meeting him. In fact, he gave me the best set of steak knives I ever had. Guy? What's up, hey. Jay? How are you, my All right, brother. Nice to see you. Guy Fieri is best known for his ridiculous love of food uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. and his flamboyant sense of style. Holla. But he's also got an over-the-top passion for cars. See, Guy Fieri is one of my favorites. He combined two of my passions, cars, specifically American muscle cars, and American food. He does real food, not little quail heads served on matchbook covers like when you go to San Francisco. Quail head. But uh, let's go inside. Let's see what you got. I'll Come show on. you the goods. This place is beautiful. Tell me about it. What do you think, huh? Jeez, oh, it's amazing. I just got finished building it last week. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it was built in uh, 1891. Oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is one of the last of the barns of this kind in this area. But I figured this was a great place to store my, you know, to put my horsepower. Sure. I sure. figured. <laughs> Why don't we start with this car over here? I just fell in love with Chevelles when I was a kid. You'd right. see them running up and down the streets of the little town I grew up in. You'd hear all that great muscle power. I haven't seen Tiger Paw GTS tires in, uh, how old are those tires? Are those new repos? <laughs> I, I, they gotta be, because I tell you something, I haven't seen them either. And this one, this is 69? Yep, I bought this on my birthday at Barrett Jackson. I'd never been to Barrett Jackson, never bought anything in an auction, and never bought anything in an auction on a phone call. Well, you're and just the kind of customer and, they oh, like. Oh, I know, don't guy even say no it. has no idea what he's don't doing. Don't even say I'll it. I'll get on the phone. <laughs> and now here we have. This is the crown jewel. This is the one you drive a lot. I this see this on the show. This is what we do on Triple show. D. Yeah, this yeah. is what we do on Triple D. Hey there, I'm Guy Fieri, and we're rolling out. Looking for America's greatest diners, drive-ins, and dives. When the show got picked up yeah. for full series, the producer said, well, what do you want to drive in the show? And we had to drive a convertible because we had to be able to have those camera shots right, right. driving down the road. So I said, I want to build the Camaro. I want to have the right Camaro. I want to do it right. So this, again, has that 502 and just did it all the way through frame off resto. Looks right, 68? 68. Very nice. And a Shelby Cobra over there. The horsepower to weight ratio is about the most ridiculous thing in the world. You have to be so aware and clear on where you're going, what you're doing, and how fast. Yeah, no texting you, while you're driving this. Thing. This, you can't text. You can't even take both hands off the, I don't even, you have to have someone shift for you. Because <laughs> it is, I mean, you're, you're oh, yeah. gripping it. And of course. This is my first hot rod. This is the first car I ever bought. I didn't have enough money to buy it. So I went, I've had the car. I promised the guy I'd never sell it. And in the restaurant business, there's a few times I might have needed to sell. Right, right. But this is it. This is the beginning. Well, what are we going to drive today? Yeah, I think we should take the. This uh, is the one people. The know. triple D Camaro. You know, I think and, we should I take that. I think it'd be fun to do that one. Be that way, can say I drove in that car. So people must really know this car now when you show up in town, right? They're looking forward to it more than they're looking forward to me. They look at the car, then they look at you, and they go, oh, that's that guy. Oh, it's that yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah. This 68 Camaro has been through 28 seasons of diners, drive-ins, and dives. But it's not just a pretty face for the cameras. It's got a GM Performance ZZ502 crate motor, a complete Hotchkiss suspension system, and a Tremec five-speed manual transmission. What else would you expect from an over-the-top personality like Guy? So what came first, the food or the love of cars? Believe it or not, Jay, they were hand in hand. So you were eating in the car when it happened. But um, bum, it's worked out pretty good. You know, I've been able to achieve quite a few of the cars that I wanted. But I mean, you know, with 150 plus, you're like, oh, and you know, I want to get that one. Well, I like anything that rolls, explodes, and makes noise. Basically. <laughs> Somewhere you used to have a, a pretzel cart, is that true? You know those big New York style pretzels? Right, right. Okay. Well, in 1978, in Northern California, there was no such thing. So my dad helped me build a cart on the back of a three-wheel bike. Oh, wow. And I had this business when I was in sixth grade, and that's how I made all my money. I was always an entrepreneur, always trying to make some money, right, always right. trying to, you know, 
I paid for my stuff. I paid my own way through college. You know, I, I, I had my responsibilities. Right, in the family. right. Everybody else had lemonade stands. You had pretzels. Yeah. So you're sort of living the American dream, wouldn't you say? Jay, I am. <laughs> the embodiment of. <laughs> I am in it, man. And yeah. it's, uh, it's a beauty, because I get to do what I love, which is right. cook. And I get to help other people with what they love to do, which is cook. And at the same time, I get to be this, uh, you know, this sideline car enthusiast. Right. Now, was there ever a point where you thought it wasn't going to happen? You almost gave up? Anything like that? Because I imagine the restaurant business has got to be debilitating. I've been through the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah, yeah. But being raised by great parents and having that work ethic, my parents would have phenomenal work ethic. Yeah. And my dad, my dad's worked for me ever since he retired. I, he came to work with me. Well, that's very nice. Your dad worked his whole life. Now you put him to work working for exactly. you. Well, exactly. What a great guy. Oh, what a... Who's the giver? Hey, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, the great thing is, is we built them a house right next to our house. We spent a lot of time with my parents. My kids got to see meet, you know, know their grandparents all their life. Yeah, my that's my great. parents got to see their grandkids grow up. But I'll tell you, nothing is easy, nothing's for free. Right. But as long as I keep that balance between my family and my career and what I love to do to keep myself balanced, it works out. Yeah, no, it's great. It's fantastic. Jay, I gotta tell you, that was a blast, man. But I gotta be honest with you. I thought this was like over the top. I mean, this is the Triple D Camaro, but. Well, you got something else that's more over the top than this? Do you have a second? Yeah, sure. I think you're really gonna like this. I'll be right back. Uh, Don't right. go anywhere. No. Okay. It's called the Express Lane. <laughs> this is what you used to go shopping? All these restaurants, I gotta be able to fill it up with groceries. Well, take me for a ride, let's do it. <laughs> let's go shopping. <laughs> Things <are> fantastic. <laughs> this is definitely over the top. Watch out, we might hit the top. That's right. <laughs> this is the only way to shop. On dollar days, we own it. Yeah. Looking for a big box store. <laughs> well, guys, thank you. It was a lot of fun. I, di I didn't think you would you would be able to go over the top from what we had, but this this certainly certainly does it. So thanks again. Great time. Go big or go yeah. home, right, Jay? That's right. You know the sad thing? I didn't get anything to eat. <laughs> I got screwed. I just came here for the food. <laughs> Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you'll find videos from all your favorite CNBC shows. Be sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Click on the videos around me and watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.